Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create these cute text fillers in Bricks Builder visually without any custom CSS code. I bet you have already seen something like that because it's been quite popular for a while now. And if you wonder what it takes to create them in Bricks Builder, just keep watching. If you are at least a little bit CSS savvy, you understand that there's no other way to insert these fillers into text other than by using the custom CSS class applied to one of the HTML tags. So before anything else, let's see how my text looks like with these fillers already inserted, but still unstyled. The first one I added is after the words how to, and this is supposed to be the image placeholder. That's why I inserted the opening and closing italic HTML tag after the words how to. There's nothing in between an opening and closing I tag as you can tell. You can also notice that there are two custom CSS classes assigned to the italic element brxe div and filler image. I'll explain why exactly a little bit later. The second text filler is different and unlike the first one, it is supposed to actually wrap up some text. I've chosen the words text fillers so that the words sit between the opening and closing i tag. Just like the first text filler, this one should also have its own class names. I'm going to use brxe text basic and filler text this time. The last text filler is added before the word bricks and it's almost identical to the first one. The difference between these two is in the second class name, which is now filler logo. In general, if you want to apply unique styling to every one of your text fillers, you'll have to use a unique class name. Otherwise, you'll end up having multiple lookalikes. Why did I use the italic HTML tag or element? Because we want to play safe. Italic and bold tags are 100% safe in each type of Bricks Builder text element. I tried to use the span, but it got removed on page refresh. So my advice is to use either italic or bold. When it comes to the Bricks Builder text element type as a subject of this idea implementation, you can use a rich text, basic text, heading, or the text lake element. I advise you to start with either the basic or rich text elements, just like I did here, and then once everything is ready, copy-paste content into a different element, such as heading or the text link element. Why? Because these two are the one-line inputs where a lot of text remains hidden, while the basic or rich text elements display it all. So it's just easier to do required edits inside the multi-line input. Now that we've placed our placeholders and wrappers to the desired position in the main text, we can do some basic styling. Because of the fact that we want to be able to style up the fillers visually by using the Bricks Builder interface, a little workaround, or better say, a trick, is required. I'll create another block element below my basic text element, inside of which I'll place all the previews of my text fillers. I have to stress it out, this is the preview only, a very rough preview. The final styling will happen once we transfer them into our main text block. So to speak, we ain't gonna transfer anything physically indeed, this is just a metaphor. For that purpose, I'll use three separate div elements, each of which will be labeled with the corresponding custom class name. It's not a must, it won't have any impact on styling, I just tend to keep everything properly labeled. Now I'm going to use Bricks Builder global class feature to create required class names. These global class names must respect the class names I added initially to my main text filler placeholder. My first global class name will be filler image. With the class name open for styling, I'll add an image from the media library, which will be used as a background image, and which requires some basic setup. Our div element is empty, without any content that adds up to its width and height, so we have to define both. I'm going to use 1EM for both width and height, because I want the size of the filler to approximately match the size of the main text, okay? Th that size will actually be relative to the size of my main text. At this point, my first text filler should already show up in the main text, however, we didn't define its display property, and its display property must be set to inline flex. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. The second filler is supposed to restyle the text itself, so the first thing to do is to add a basic text widget inside the second div, and then type in some text which will provide us with a styling preview. So unlike the first filler, a custom class name for the second one is to be added to the basic text widget, not the div element. Please beware of that. The custom class name has already been defined initially with a placeholder, and I just have to make it global. So filler text is the class name of our second text filler. 
To be more precise, this is not a real text filler because we don't use it to add something to our main text. This is rather just a style changer. My plan is now to change the font family and text color, maybe add some background, maybe round up corners, etc, etc. The third text filler is quite similar to the first one. I'm going to give it a global class name of filler logo and with the class name open, I'll do some basic styling of this element. As I have mentioned before, here I'm building my text filler previews only while the final designs will take place once the fillers are quote unquote transferred to the main text. Don't forget to set the display property to each of your text fillers, otherwise they won't show up. If you wonder what to do with the container that houses my text filler previews, I will simply hide it by using display now. Should I rather delete it? Of course not. If I do that, the invisible connection between my text fillers and their styles would be lost. In case you didn't know, if there's no actual element on stage that uses some of the custom global classes, Bricks Builder shall not render that particular class style. Another reason why not to delete container with my text filler previous is that it allows me to choose a particular text filler whenever I need to style it up. Beware that you have to keep their global classes open for styling all the time. You will know when the class is stylable because it's been highlighted with a different color. And finally, now it's time to provide additional explanation why I have used BRXE div and BRXE text basic class names with my text fillers. If you take a look at the filler preview container, you can notice that the BRXE div corresponds to the element type of div which is used for two of my image fillers. In addition, the BRXE text basic is used with the text basic element type. These are actually Bricks Builder default classes and they are assigned by default. So with Bricks Builder, a custom global class is chained to the element type class. And if I were to omit them, the styling done in editor wouldn't take place. And this is why I have to use a combination of a Bricks Builder default element class and my custom global class. At the end, I wanted to provide some information on how to move your text fillers around. Quite often you'll notice that your fillers do not align properly with the rest of the text and most likely you'll have to fine tune their position. An easiest way to do that is to use CSS transforms. Any of the available CSS transformations can be utilized to move the filler horizontally or vertically, rotate it, skew it or scale it. Just play around and see what suits you best or what you need, whatever. Maybe it's worth mentioning that relative units are a way better option when it comes to the CSS transforms because your text fillers are actually in a position relative to the main text. And that's pretty much it when it comes to text fillers. You could even deploy before and after pseudo elements for additional effects if you like. Feel free to experiment, I'm sure you'll come up with something nice and cool. Best of all, your text fillers are fully responsive and behave like the text itself. Just try to resize the viewport or change the breakpoint manually. If you like this video, please subscribe or give me a thumb up. In case you have some questions, feel free to use the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I can. Other than that, stay well, peace and love.